guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. I come down this morning and uh, I looked at my turntable and um, something was missing. Oh no, someone's nicked the RB250 arm and they've replaced it with this. It's the new Tweaker Man arm. God, this is interesting. Let's take a look at it. So, this is a uni pivot design. So we take this off and we'll, we'll put this to one side first and we'll show you the um, the base part of it. So this is the, the uh, this is the um, the spike that we're using for the uni pivot, and this is just a speaker stand spike, a six mil one. And um, so let's pull this arm out, the, the the arm, the base part of it. We've got a uh, twenty five mil dowel that fits in that hole there which eventually will be cut to the size. Now this is a prototype arm. Uh, this will probably go through several guises before we get to the uh, the right sound that we're looking for. Um, so we've used a 25 mil dowel on the bottom and we've put, we, we, we've turned a nice piece on the lathe there to go there and then we've put our speaker stand spike uh, the threaded nut that goes into the oak there so that we can get our our spike to uh, go nice and to screw down and the beauty of this is it acts as a, uh, a virtual tracking angle so if you need to hire the arm up you can hire it up this way so not that we need to hire it up too much on this deck anyway but I, I thought I'd add that to it because it would be uh, good and then we've made our armrest there so we turned the armrest, then I hand sanded that in, in place. This is all made of uh, American white oak. Um, very strong, very sturdy. So that fits in there. At the moment, obviously, it moves about. Um, <clears throat> and now turning our attention to the actual arm itself. So, starting at this end. Now, I've put that in there just to show you at the moment, because this is going to be a metal rod in there. Uh, a, a small piece of metal that's going to be glued in place and then we're making our own counterweight for it and this is the the bit where we've got our pivot in there so this pivots on the spike there and then we've got a carbon fiber tube here which is 16 mil thick now this is going to obviously go through several changes maybe uh, depending on how well this sounds um, and then this is our head shell this is all handmade by me so we've got an angle on there so the the cartridge is going to angle at 22.5 degrees this is all made of oak solid oak which I've machined out um, turned it on the lathe originally then cut all this on the on the uh, circular saw bench and then we've had a really nice touch of our arm lift there on a slight angle if you can see it. I've angled it slightly so you can lift it easy and I've kept that bare oak the rest of it has had a sort of several wood effect done on it rosewood whatever um this could all change after a while um anyway so that flips into the arm tube there like that none of this is glued in place um and what this will do is this will this will be this will either have a a screw in in the bottom there um and then a slot in it so we can adjust the azimuth so we can make sure it's totally level when it goes on so the arm it now goes back onto there so you see that little hole down the bottom there it pivots on there so we push that on top and it settles on there so now you might have noticed there's no anti-skating on it at the moment so an anti-skating rod is going to come out the side then another one that comes out the bottom there with the anti-skating weight on there that goes on the side and then this will just go over to here and it will settle down now as I said this is a prototype arm this is the only start of uh, me building tone arms but we'll probably go through several guises of this now the, the, the next guise will probably be a, a thinner carbon fiber arm tube and the head shell may change but we're gonna we're gonna try this one out first, and obviously none of this has been wired up yet, so we've got to wire it as well. We're gonna use pure silver wire, um, 
and the reason why I've opted for the uni pivot at, at, at first is because it's the easiest way to make a tone arm uh, but the problem with a uni pivot arm is it takes a lot of setup and the, 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 the worst part about uni pivot arms is if they're not done properly it can put a lot of stress on your cartridge and on your LPs, your, your vinyl records um, but I'm 100% sure I can get this really good. Um, <clears throat> so we've we've uh, we've we've pulled out the RB250 at the moment just to try this out. So next stage is going to be adding the the anti skating bar and the weight and everything else to go with it, and then we're going to be making our own our own counterweight. So I was going to leave it until I'd finished it all, but I thought I might as well give you an update. So I'm going to call this um, a Prototype Tone Arm Part 1, this video, because uh, I just think that that's good. And in the end there, you can see we've uh, we've put our hole down there for, you may not be able to see it very well, there you go, for the wire to go through. So the beauty of this is um, I'm going to hopefully be able to uh, move the wire in and out as I change the um the the arm tube and the head the head part of it we're going to uh we're going to machine up several of these uh with different sizes on there because i want to really go for it and, and and see what one totally sounds the best but you can see you pivot it on there and the, the thing is with a uni pivot is we've got to get the the counterweight working really well because when you see if it goes over to one side it will do at first um until we get the counterweight on there, we can set the counterweight exactly right. So uh, I think that's that's about it for this video. Um, I'm quite pleased with this so far. It's, it's come up a lot better than I thought it would. Other people have been saying to me, why don't you make an arm? So there you go, I've made one. Um, so all I've got to say now is, um, thank you for watching another Tweaker Man video. I hope you like this. Uh, I really turned the style on on this. Um, I can eventually, once I build it all and I get the right, the right arm that I think is going to be right for the turntable I will then put all the information in below for now we won't bother going there because this is only the prototype at the moment until we get to the the final uh, pierce the resistance arm that, that I'm happy with I mean it may be this one at the moment it, it, I don't know yet until I've tried it it's got to be rewired it's got to be wired up and everything else so all I've got to say is uh, thanks for watching another tweak of our video if you're new to the channel uh, don't forget to give, uh, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give me a like. Thanks a lot.